Hello guys, I'm going to show you how I went from this to this. Okay, so if you are new to drawing or you have very little experience, this video is for you. So take a look at this. I thought the final result was awesome when Selena drew this mushroom, but then I started to look at the process and it actually consists of some really simple steps. So today we're gonna divide this up into three different steps that you can use to do the same thing. Are you ready to start on step number one? Then find your pencil, sheet of paper, and your eraser and let's go. In this step, we are just gonna draw the outskirts of the object, nothing fancy. Selena just draws in the simplest form what she sees. It may look a little too simple at this point, but this is how it appears with this technique in the beginning. Uh, we are gonna work on it little by little until it looks awesome. If you won't draw the exact same object that Selena draws, you can take your time and stop a video if needed. Now she's just finishing up the last little detail on the stem of the mushroom. Then after that, the first step will be completed. In step number two, we are going to do much of the same as in step one, but this time we will add texture and pattern. Again, we are gonna use basic and simple shapes. Uh, Selena is blocking a little bit with her hand there, but you can see that she's about to finish up with the spots on the mushroom. All she does is draw circles that are naturally unsymmetrical. now started drawing the, yeah, what should we call that? Skirts, the skirts of the mushroom. Anyways, the point is that she gives it some texture, again, by applying some simple plain vertical lines. Um, the original mushroom have some lines in its ceiling. If I could call it that, Selena again just captures the line she sees inside the sort of umbrella of the mushroom. The stem needs some texture. The good thing about a mushroom is that there is no need for symmetry or perfection. Just draw on something here to make it look natural. Now, step number three is the most challenging. This is where we give the object a 3D feel. By using three different colors or shades with our pencil, we will give some depth to the mushroom and make it pop right there on the page. First, we need to remove the hard defining pencil strokes that we made when we drew the shape of the mushroom. This has served its purpose, but now we remove it to make the mushroom look more real. Um, if you take out too much, you can gently redraw texture or pattern that was lost. Okay, so now we are gonna put the same color of shade on the mushroom. Where we see that, it is darker. Leave the white parts white, Try to follow the texture in the actual mushroom with your pencil strokes. Here, Selena accentuates the round shape of the mushroom by creating this dumb-like feeling with her choice of direction when shading. Now that the, the mushroom has gotten shading in all the right places, we go ahead and give a second round of shading for the parts that we think should be even darker. So after one layer of light shade and then a second layer of dark shade. 
we are going to even these two layers out by using a shade that has a color tone in between the first two layers. You can see Saliva even out the light and the dark shades so the transition becomes smoother. And you are finished. Uh, be sure to write a comment down below if this video was helpful for your child. We would love to hear how it went. You just say blah blah blah, okay? Mm. It's not a snit. A snit of quarter, perhaps not triple, two, let wait, it peed, it knotted. Can it appear so? Okay. <laughs>